Okay, here we go. Ready? Go ahead. Action. David Lewis, uh, I am working at Azusa High School, in the Azusa, Azusa Unified School District, and I am a counselor, full-time teacher. I first met him for the general information meeting for the fall drama production of my freshman year. And my first impression of him was he was very loud and a little intimidating. So you just listen to each other. Don't worry about your lines. It will come out like diarrhea. If you memorize the lines, it will just flow like diarrhea naturally. That's my quote. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do it again. Let's go. My name's Valeria Fernandez, and I met Mr. Lewis when I was in middle school. Um, I'm also an alumni here. I met Mr. Lewis at um, my junior year of high school, and I am currently pretty much one of his close friends. <laughs> God damn! I'm giving up this lousy, stinking job! 27 years ago, uh, when I came here as a teacher, there was no theater arts program. And for me, that was just not good at all. Right? You know, you have to have something for kids to express themselves in some type of medium of storytelling. And uh, so I started, uh, the first two years I asked, to be, become the drama teacher and they gave me that permission, uh, that, that authority to do that. So we did uh, our productions in the choir room with three steps for stages. And then I walked into this room, the theater, about maybe two years later by accident. My key opened it up, walked in here, and it used to be an old metal shop room, it hadn't been used for eight years. And so I went to the woodshop teacher at that time, Mr. Graham, and asked him if he would uh, work with me on building this into a theater. And from there, the district uh, uh, helped me out. We raised half the money. They raised, they matched. Whatever I raised, they matched. So that's why we were able to get the lights and the sound equipment and all that good stuff. Growing up, I was very shy and very enclosed in myself. But once I got up on the stage and he taught me how to turn left, turn right in acting, I was able to open up and know that I was okay up there, and no matter what anybody said, I was having fun and doing my part. I've said it before, but it's changed my life, honestly. Um, I wouldn't know where I'd be without the drama club, and I wouldn't be, honestly, I, I don't think I'd be as open as I would, as social as I would be with, uh, without the drama club, because it's, it's taught me how to become, you know, more social. I used to be, you know, pretty socially awkward when I was pretty much in my freshman year, right before I joined uh, the drama club, because, they pretty much taught me how to, how to open up, how to be around people, and it's, it's just been a great experience in general. Our program uh, uh, after school provides an opportunity for family, for kids that, that are, are, might not be accepted elsewhere, uh, whether by their parents, by their peers, brings them into a program that allows them to be themselves for the most part, but also be creative. And by being creative, um, you become confident, whether it's it's in this type of business or whether it's in uh, becoming confident in life skills. Because I think one of the things that I really push is kids learning how to become better within themselves. Um, it's not so much about acting, but that gives us the craft or the, the ability to, to develop those skills. He's very... He's very generous. He he cares for you. He he may be um, he may be tough on you, but it's only because he really cares about you. Anytime I'm I'm down or sad, he's able to pick up my spirit in any way, whether that's making a joke or making himself look funny. He's he's great all around. My favorite story about Mr. Lewis is 
when we were doing the production, um, The Wizard of Oz, and there was this one word I could not say, and um, I forgot how the line went, but I couldn't, I couldn't say tedious, and I still can't say it now. <laughs> And so we had to change the word. We had to find similes or like, you know, the same meaning, but a different word because I couldn't say that, you know, with family bringing their children to this place, so. I think that uh, uh, kids don't realize it. And I don't think, I think a lot of educators won't admit to it, but this one will. Um, I'm still a kid at heart because of the kids that I work with, even the tough kids. That, that, that are in and out of here once or twice, but the kids that last all four years, the kids that are here for a while. Um, each one of them teaches me something about myself to make me better as an educator, as a human being. I just feel like they're, they're my kids, so, and I'm responsible for them. So yeah, there's a lot of love that goes out there to these kids, and, and uh, it makes me a better person. In terms of his productions, he's definitely inspired me to get into acting, get into film production, get into all these things. And I'm sure anyone who's watched his plays, anyone who was, who's watched any of um, Mr. Lewis's work would know that. Um, they, they would just be like, wow, I want to do that. Because he makes it look so good, you know, it just inspires you. Theater arts is really my therapy. It helps me become a better counselor or a more effective counselor and teacher. So I look forward to this time with the kids because it energizes me to do my job in the office with parents, students, teachers, and administrators. Uh, I think that's probably the best way to, uh, uh, to answer that. Yeah. It? Yeah, that was it. Sweet. That's all. That's a wrap. <laughs> You're good. <Thank> you. <laughs>